Hey, this is Software Dude speaking, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to use the program 3 for plus 10. And as you guys uh, maybe know, there are tutorials on YouTube for 3 for plus 10, and those tutorials are created by a guy named Graven Hugo, and that's me. But I thought that now I know a little bit more about this program, so I'm just gonna bunch all those videos together and add some extras uh, to show you more about the program. And another thing I just want you guys to know is that my website is not created with this program. It's created with HTML coding. And I actually I think it's good to know a little bit about HTML, but if you have like no interest at all to know about that and just wanna create a website easy, this is the program for you. So let's just start off by clicking start new site. Okay. I'm just gonna speed it just do this real quick cause because of the time limit on YouTube. So once we're here, just click um, resize pages to yeah, resize the pages. Click all pages and choose 1100. There we go. And I'm gonna choose right here 800. You can choose whatever you want. It's probably on stem. Okay, here it is. So this is your home page. I'm just gonna change the background color. Or if you want, you can also use a picture, but I'm going to just simply use a color. I don't want any of these. I'm just going to click more colors. Find a color I want to have. That one looked pretty cool. Like that. Okay, here it is. And I want to insert an image. My banner, which I created with GIMP. It's not very hard. Uh, here it is, my banner. Just open it for that little thing there. Import picture. And there we go. The software dude's website. And I also want to type a little about myself. I want to type uh, Hello. Hello. This is my website created for my YouTube tutorial. Tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, you get the bosh. You'll enjoy it. Yeah, you get the point. I probably missed the spell wrong somewhere around here. <laughs> yeah, but here's the text. So, oh wait, I just gonna. I'm just gonna enter this. So it's like that. Yep. And up here you can choose if it should be bold, underline, the size of it. I want to have that size. And uh, uh, line what center? If it should be in the center, on the left, or uh, I just want the center like that. Didn't got much changed, but that's not the point. Yeah. Okay, so once that's done, uh, uh, I just want to import another picture. Oh wait, I just want to have a frame, like a frame around this text. Uh, let's. Do I want a square or do I want some other form? Let's say I want to have a speech call out. Here we go. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, like that. But as you see, the problem is text is behind this. So we're just gonna click the speech uh, thing. Right click on it choose arrange and send to back there we go and here's what it looks like <laughs> now the text is on the thing here and uh, let's say I want another picture I have my icon for YouTube here I'm gonna put it here we go like that just move this around a little just just move around and see what if you find anything good. And I think I'm gonna create this part 3D. So how to create this 3D is just you need to right click on it and choose instant 3D. I'm gonna just gonna go for that one. Okay. Choose the text online to create that one 3D too. Uh, Right click instant 3D. It's gonna go for this one too. Okay, and just to move this around a little. And as you can see, my speech callout is now 
3D, all of it. Okay, so we'll learn the basics here. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to hyp hyperlink uh, the m most websites. Their banner is uh, hyperlinked to their homepage. So I'm just going to go to our, my banner, click a page on your site, and choose. Go to my banner, right click, hyperlink. Wait, wait, let's just do this again. Right click on my banner, click hyperlink, a page in your site, and there it is, home. Click OK, and now this will link to our home, home page. OK, so now, let's just say I want a button on my website, which should go to somewhere like, uh, I'm going to go to the theme graphics right here, and I'm going to just see what I can find. Let's try this one out. Work. Yeah, it looks okay. Find the button thing. I click that, and it is here. We go, and we're just gonna double click it to uh, change this button a little bit. I'm just gonna specify the text, and I'm gonna call it, um, let's say, about. Okay, the font is good. Just specify the background color. Let's see here. Okay, let's take that one. That one and that one. Okay. So there we go. It says about now. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go to the side here. Create a new page. I'm just gonna go to page properties. Ne oh wait. Something's wrong. Just gonna reset the pages again. Just, just, just take two seconds. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Go to page properties and change the page name, right there, to about, just to be a little more. Uh, whatever it's called. Yeah. Here, home. Now from. I'm just going to type a little stuff in my about section just in the top about there we go not a text which is a uh, my name is the software dude yeah not that much about me but that's not the point okay so go to your home page click right click on your button click hyperlink a page in your side <laughs> and about. And also as you can see you can also hyperlink to an internet page, an internet email address, a file on your hard disk and you know so on. But I'm just going to show the page in my site and about. So click OK. OK so let's just pre preview this site by clicking HTML preview and preview in window. There we go. So here it is, my website. Just click about. Here's the button. Once you, I'm just going to go ahead and click it and you get to the about page. My name is the software dude. So yeah, there you go. Okay, now I'm just gonna show you how to quick how to uh, upload this site to the internet to the internet. So just click file, publish site and wait, publish to web. Okay, so here it is publish to web. I'm just gonna click accounts, add to create a new account. And all this information will be in um, your domain and web hosting provider that will send you this on email probably. So I'm just going to type some random stuff here. FTP, FTP address usually is FTP dot the site instead of www use FTP folder just don't use that sometimes you might have to because your host says you have to but uh, that's up to them just choose a username password and uh, the website URL so here we go it's probably wrong I don't know whatever click OK uh, and then just click upload just click publish all pages and click OK this won't work since this account doesn't exist 
But um, yeah, thanks for watching, keep watching and bye. Uh, links to this program is in the description.